There have been a lot of question marks revolving around Walt Disney World, the Disney Company, this entire global situation, but I think no question is more common in my inbox than the one, Michael, I've canceled my Disney vacation. When should I reschedule it? It's a very good question and one that's definitely deserving of a video because there are so many question marks still unanswered. And yes, things are looking better every day. We want to continue that forward progress. That's that's an important point here. There, although there is light at the end of the tunnel, we want to make sure it's it's safe. The, the, the distance between us and the light at the end of the tunnel is a safe route. So the big question is, when should you return for your Disney vacation? Wider than that today, we're going to answer the question, when should you reschedule? And I'm also going to be discussing cruises as well later on in the video, but let's start first with Walt Disney World. At the time of filming, there is some plan in place for a phase one and phase two reopening. If you're looking for me, more details about the reopening plans, check out that video right there. But besides that, there is a somewhat plan in place right now, still being formulated, to make sure that opening is safe at Disney theme parks, at different restaurants, and all around Central Florida. When we first heard about these different phases, phase one of reopening and phase two of reopening, we were talking about how those who are over the age of 65 should stay home. They were talking about cast members here. So if you're over the age of 65 and you're thinking about coming to Walt Disney World or you have a family member who's over the age of 65 thinking about coming to Walt Disney world, the dates that I give you today, I'm going to give you some dates, I'm going to give you some time frames, I would, if you're over 65, push those days even further. I also want to mention if you have any underlying health conditions, shouldn't have to mention it, but I do want to make sure that you know that I am thinking about you as well. Make sure you take those extra precautions. Just because I'm going to say some time frames doesn't mean it applies to everyone. That's an important point. Now it's well known that when the parks reopen as part of phase one, and we're talking about phase one for the parks, not phase one for Central Florida, there seems to be different phase ones. But we're talking about the parks for a moment. When they do open for phase one, it's still well known that we're going to have the virus lingering around, not in the area, but around the country. It's an important note, but this is why we have the different phases. It's to prevent further spread, six feet apart, wearing masks everywhere, temperature checks. All of these things are meant to prevent further spread, but still keep the economy going, because that's kind of a big thing. I'm not a, again, not a medical professional, not a virus specialist, not a budget or ec economy specialist, but it's important to have that balance. So I can understand some of the difficult decisions that have to be made right now. It's important that we not move too fast, because if we do, we could, you know, potentially get a second spike and nobody wants that. That's very, very important that we don't have that happen. So we're going slowly to prevent, to prevent that second spike. Very important there. So what does that mean for those who have had to cancel or rescheduling Disney vacations? When should you plan the next one? I'm putting this in terms of myself for a moment. If I was not living in the Florida area and I had a trip that was rescheduled as of now, I had to cancel one, when would I schedule my next one? For me personally, I would probably schedule it around Halloween time, right around the fall, maybe late food and wine or Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. I'm thinking September. I'm thinking October. That's my first thought. The gut instinct for me says late fall. The reason for that is because I believe most of the summer will be used kind of making sure we're taking small baby steps. So maybe not everything will be open at that point. And when I'm coming to Walt Disney World, I want to make sure everything's open. So if I was rescheduling for myself right now, I'd go for late fall. Now, of course, that's not a guarantee. There is no guarantee the parks will even be open at that time. But that is what I would reschedule for right now because I want to go for Halloween. I want to see food and wine. Hopefully it will all be said and done by then. We don't know. But that's my first thought. Now, if you're thinking about pushing it just a little bit later and you're considering the holidays at Disney, big fan of the holidays at Disney, I would recommend before the actual holidays themselves. It's well known that Walt Disney World gets extremely crowded for the holidays, and I have a feeling this holiday is going to be a little bit unique, probably more precautions for everyone, very, very important. And if you want to experience the holidays at Disney, believe it or not, you don't have to go on Christmas Day. You don't have to go for the last two weeks of December. You can go in early December. December or even sometime in November and still experience a lot of holiday magic. It is a ton of fun and there are usually a lot less crowds. That's I think that's a good middle ground right there. Now another part of this equation involves transportation. If you drive to Walt Disney World for your vacations from wherever you are in the country, then I think that most of those timelines are really, really good. But if you fly to the Orlando area for your Disney vacation, you have to take that into consideration as well. It's true that the airlines are still operating at the time of filming. You have the opportunity to go from one place to another. There are extra precautions in place right 
right now everyone's wearing masks and sanitizer everywhere to make sure that there is safety for everyone, but that's just another part of the equation. Are there flights happening when you want to go? And a lot of flights have been reduced right now, so that's something to consider before you start thinking about the trip itself. Make sure that there are flights happening on those days. So I would look at the flights before I look at the resort stay times. Now if going to Walt Disney World is a not very common experience for you and maybe this is your first or second time and you won't be able to come back for a little while and you want to make sure you get that full experience, I would wait a little bit longer. Rides like Rise of the Resistance, just as an example, may still be closed earlier on in phase one, two, or perhaps there's a three and four as well. They may be closed for a little while even after the parks are open. So if you want to get that full experience, I would push it a little bit further into the new year. That's just me. If you want to make sure that this is like that once in a lifetime trip or a trip that happens every few years, I would push it just a little bit further so you can make the most out of your time. Now let's move on to Disneyland in California. And the situation here is a little bit different just because of the location of Disneyland. Disneyland is located within a city. Walt Disney World basically is its own city. That's just kind of a, a difference right there. So I have a feeling Disneyland is going to open in a very different way. I think it's going to have that capacity at even a lower, a lower rate than Walt Disney World. So Disney World's got a 50% capacity that they're thinking about right now. Disneyland may be a tiny bit lower than that, at least that's my thought. I do realize that Disneyland is a local theme park as well. Walt Disney World is less so. Disneyland's gonna get a lot more people faster, in my opinion. So if you're thinking about a Disneyland vacation, just know that you may wanna wait just a tiny bit longer after that first opening. Even if you're a local, it may not hurt to give it a few days after that first opening to make sure all the kinks are out and you can make it there safely. Now let's move on to the Disney Cruise Line. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because the Disney Cruise Line has already canceled several cruises all the way until June at the time of filming. And that means that we're gonna have to push that timeline a little bit further out. The Disney Cruise Line, like the other cruise lines in the world, are going to be trying to find a new method to ensure that guests are safe on board. I believe this whole situation is going to revolutionize the cruise industry, and that's a good thing for guests. It really is, it means that every Everyone, and people on board, people who are taking care of us, the cast members, the crew on board, are also gonna benefit from these new policies to make sure that people are safe and well on board. But what does that mean for rescheduling? If you're thinking about a Disney cruise, I recommend later in 2020, so maybe the or late fall, possibly in the winter time, or maybe spring 2021, that's just me. The reason why I mentioned those time frames is because it's gonna take the cruise lines just a little bit longer to reposition a few things, make sure things are totally safe for guests, but once they are, I think it's gonna be better than ever, no doubt about it. And if you're thinking about a warmer vacation, I would actually wait till spring or summer of 2021. That's me for a Disney cruise. I loved the Christmas on board. If you've never experienced Christmas on board a Disney cruise ship, this might be the fun year to do it. I think by Christmas time, we should be in great shape for cruising. That might be the ticket for a fantastic vacation to kind of end the year. It's gonna be, you know, it's a little bit different, a little unique year, no doubt about it but that might be a great thing to look forward to at the end of the year. Now, when we think about international travel for a moment, I'm speaking to you as someone who has never traveled internationally before, unless you count on the cruise lines. And one day, I am so looking forward to traveling to Shanghai, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Europe, and Paris, and all these great places. However, for now, I'm going to be delaying my international travel. The reason for that, I think, is pretty obvious for most of us. Want to make sure that you can move in and out of these countries with relative ease, have your passport ready to go, and have to worry about any other lockdowns in the future, you know, that's really, really important. So for me personally, I am going to wait until all of this is said and done, like in the past done, before I book those international trips, but I'm so looking forward to them when we can book them again. Now, those are my thoughts about booking a vacation. If your vacation has been pushed or maybe it's been canceled, you have to reschedule, you're thinking about when would be the best time. Those are my thoughts. Now, all of that being said, you could reschedule for other times, maybe in earlier fall, something like that. And you know, it may work out. Absolutely. I'm just thinking for myself for a moment how I would schedule it, thinking I, you know, I gotta take off work, gotta book these flights, all the coordination that goes into it. I probably would wait just a tiny bit longer since I'd be coming from further away, Washington, DC, if I was still traveling to Walt Disney World. Those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Do you agree with my time frames? Kind of later fall, maybe the Christmas season? Let me know in the comments. Or maybe you disagree. Maybe you say, no, you know what, let's wait a little bit longer or even earlier. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't be afraid to let me know a differing opinion in the the comments below. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.